y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because I'm going to be doing seven looks using the Unearthly Cosmetics Halloween palettes. I'm very excited. I kind of swore off seven looks videos, but I did a video with the four Unearthly palettes and then I did a mystery box video with the mystery box palettes. And so many of y'all asked me if I could do some more looks. I've been playing with these palettes and I'm like, you know what? I want to use these palettes. Why not do another video, do a look with all these palettes and we'll have some fun. Now, if you're new here, I want to say, Hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week. So I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today, but I'm very excited. So let's jump into it. <music> Okay, starting off, I do want to let you know I bought all of these palettes myself with my own money except one. The Warm Smile Blood palette was gifted to me from the brand. I do have an affiliate code with Unearthly. If you want to save and you're on the Unearthly site, you can use code Heather. Uh, thank you so much if you use my code, but honestly, the best way to support your favorite creators is to watch and engage with their content. So thank you so much for watching this video and being here. I did do a video on all of these palettes already. So I will link the two videos down below. I definitely recommend you check those out. If you want to see close-ups of the palette, swatches, swatches in different lighting, everything like that, I will have in those videos. Today, we are just going to be focusing on creating looks with the palettes. So let me quickly show you what palettes we'll be playing with. First up is the Weirdos palette. This one is actually the one I'm wearing today. This one will be the first one that we play with. I just thought it would be fun to do an all-in-one Halloween video. I also have 1964. We'll be playing with this beautiful palette. We have So Strange with this beautiful bright color story inside. I know some of these palettes are not on the Unearthly site now. Some of them are. I am really, really hoping that Unearthly will bring these palettes back. That's my hope at least. But if not, definitely shop your stash. I just know a lot of y'all were asking me in my comments for more looks and I wanted to make more looks. So it's a win-win. <laughs> we're also going to play with Warms My Blood. This is a neutral slash colorful palette. And all four of these palettes do have multi-chromes. Now, I am also going to create looks with the Mystery Box Quads. So I'll show you these quickly. We have Chilling, which is this beautiful purple quad. We have Creepy Crawly, this beautiful green quad. And last but not least, we have Thirst, this beautiful red quad. Again, I do have swatches, everything like that, close-ups of the palettes in the other two videos. They'll be in the description box. Everything I use today will be linked in the description box for you, so definitely check there. But I'm excited to do another seven looks video. <laughs> It's been a while. I don't think I've done a seven looks since the summer. So we're going to create a look with each palette. It's going to be a good time, but I know this video is going to be extremely long. So let's jump into this look. The first look we're using the weirdos. Okay, so we're starting off with the Weirdos palette. I'm very excited. I want to do something kind of grungy today. So we are going to go in with Blessed B. I'm going to grab this shade on a 8-5 brush. I will have my eye primer and everything linked down in the description box. But I'm just going to put this shade all in the crease right on top of my eye primer. I always put on my eye primer and then I go in with shadow. I never set my eye primer down with like a powder, anything like that. I know some people do find that that helps them with blending. So maybe that's something you could try if you want to. But for me, I definitely feel like I get the most pigmentation out of my shadows when I don't set my eye primer. So 
I never, ever, ever do. All right, now I wanna go in with Snakes, the green shade, and then I'm going to kind of buff it out with the shade Power, this kind of gray-ish shade, but I wanna put Snakes right under the lower lash line, just going to buff it, buff it back and forth, and then I will lightly go in with that gray shade underneath, just to give us a little bit more dimension so I'm just gonna take it like that this is another unearthly brush I will link to the brush brands that I'm using down below but I just wiped it off a little bit on a towel and I'm taking the shade power very very lightly underneath so that we kind of have this green closer to the lash line and then as it fades out into the gray as we get lower. I'm going to take the matte black called I Bind You and this is another unearthly brush and I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner like this. I want it to be nice and deep and black and then I'm going to put down some of my Glimmer Grasp and I want to go on the lid. This shade right here is so, so pretty. It is like a pink, purple to green. So in certain lights, it'll be green. Definitely watch uh, my first video so that you can see the shifts even more. But instead of going all over the lid with that, I wanna go all over the lid with um, this shade down here, sorry, Feather. <laughs> I had the palette turned so I couldn't read the name, but I wanna use that high contrast kind of multi-chrome to put that on the lid. Okay, so I've got that shade Feather on this unearthly brush. This is a really, really pretty multi-chrome as well. It goes pink, white, kind of this like yellowy shade, and then like you can see it kind of looks pink right in this lighting, but then as I move my head, you can see like all the different reflex so I'm just going to buff that in I am going to go in and blend through my crease some more kind of soften up this black just a bit but man I love that multi-chrome I'm also going to wrap it right there to the inner corner and this is just going to be it very simple but still super duper impactful I'm going back into blessed be making sure I'm blending, gonna make this very seamless. But yeah, super simple. What do we use? One, two, three, four, five. Just five shades, but it's very pretty. I've been using this palette quite a bit and really enjoying it. All right, y'all, here is our finished look. I'm so happy with it. I think it's so fun and colorful while also dark and grungy. I did put on some Lily Lashes in the style D-O-H-A. For my lips, I have on Juvia's Place Cola Lip Liner, Blend Bunny Dull Face liquid lip and my NYX Fate Winx Gloss in the shade Musa. I'm wearing purple blush. This is the shade Hazy from Unearthly. And then for highlighter, I'm wearing the older low light palette, the two middle shades. So those shades are also both in the kind of new version. So yeah, this is our finished look. I hope that you enjoyed. Okay, for this look, I'm gonna be using the 1964 palette. I love this one. I mean, I love them all. I'm sure I'm gonna say that a thousand times. But what we're gonna do is start off with Transylvania. I really wanna pack that on. And then I wanna buff it out with Munsters. So I've got my eyes primed and I've got my A6 brush. I'm going to dip into Transylvania. And we do have a nice mirror in this palette. So I'm going to press this shade on in to the crease. Make sure I have that pigment how I want it. And you can see I'm going in the crease, above the crease, below the crease. I really want this blue to be nice and impactful. So I'm fine with it coming up as high as it is. 
just pack, pack, packing like that. And then I'm going to grab a fluffier brush. This is a uh, eight seven. Go into that Munsters shade, and I will kind of buff above and on that blue shade, just bringing it up to blend it out. Okay, for the lower lash line, I want to use the shade uh, Dragula right here, this deeper kind of cool tone color, and I want to buff it out with the shade Werewolf. So I'm going to grab this, uh, what is this, A7 brush from Unearthly, and I'm going to Dragula, and I'm going to press this on the lower lash line so just buffing it back and forth but I always kind of press first and keep it right there at the lower lash line just looking in my mirror right here gonna drag it out a bit and then I'm going to grab this smaller brush this is a 8-4 go into the shade werewolf and buff that lower so that we have this nice like gray fading to this more purpley gray down here and then I'm just going to buff that on around. Okay now what I'm going to do is take my Glimmer Grasp. This is like a Glimmer Adhesive Glitter Adhesive Glitter Primer. Just something you can use it with multi-chromes, shifty shadows, regular shimmers, whatever you want to do. It will just make them pop more so i'm gonna put this all over the lid and right in the outer corner i want to use the shade vampire this really beautiful sparkly green but for the majority of the lid i'm going to go in with Marilyn. this really flaky intense um shimmer seems like too light of a word <laughs> But that's what it is. We'll, we'll call it a shimmer. How about that? I'm trying to grab my brush for my Glimmer Grasp. This is the Unearthly 8-8 brush. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out onto the brush like this. And then I'm going to put this Glimmer Grasp all over the lid. I'm not trying to do a cut crease or anything like that you totally can if you want to I don't uh, prefer looks like I don't prefer creating looks that have a lot of precision um, I like to kind of just like go with the flow so I put that down I'm gonna take this 8-9 brush and this is the shade of vampire and I'm just going to put that like right here and I'm going to pack it on. When I use Glimmer Grasp, Glitter Adhesive, Primers, anything like that, I like to pack the shade on first and then go back and blend once it's kind of like adhered to the primer, the primer's kind of set down. Now I'm taking a 8-5 brush and I'm going into that shade Marilyn. I just wanna make sure I have that picked up on my brush. And then I'll press and I'm using this a very fluffy brush because it's going to make sure that the shimmer particles really come through they get picked up nicely I just I like using brushes like this I think it can be really really beautiful so I'm just going to tap that on this shade in my opinion is very transformative depending on the shades you have it next to, the shades you pair it with, it's just gonna kind of like become its own shade, which I really, really enjoy. I've had a lot of fun working with it. Okay, and to highlight the inner corner, I want to take the matte white here called Mockingbird Lane. I want to do a matte white inner corner. And then I'm just going to do eyeliner, I'm going to do lashes figure out uh what lip color i want to do and then i'll be back to show you the finished look but this is essentially it i'm just going to blend a bit more 
All right, y'all, here is my finished look with the 1964 palette. I really like the way it came together. I put on some black eyeliner in the lower waterline, but up top I used the Unearthly Gem Multi-Chrome Liquid Liner. I also put on some really, really thin uh, like strip lashes. They're half lashes from Amazon. I can link them down below. My lips are doll face from Blend Bunny topped with Terra Gloss from NYX. Um, for bronzer and blush, I'm wearing my Hourglass Tiger palette. And then for highlighter, I decided to go with Hocus Pocus Find the Book. I just went in really, really lightly with it. So you can't like see that it's a green highlighter, just like you can't really see it's a green gloss because I layered it over doll face. And here I used a very fluffy brush, so you just kind of get that hint of green. But overall, I'm very happy with this look, but we do have more looks to do. I just wanted to give you one last look at this one. All right, y'all, for this look, we are dipping into this So Strange palette. Very excited to create a look with this one. And what we're gonna do is kind of focus on the shade Miss Argentina and Bride at first. I really want to use these shades. I think they look so cool, <laughs> so, so cool. So first I'm gonna go in with Miss Argentina. I really like this bright, bright pink. So I'm going to put my hair back and I'm going to take that shade Miss Argentina. I'm going to take it on a A502 from BK Beauty. I'm taking this matte and I'm kind of just going to put this right in the crease and above the crease, blending it up like this making sure it's nice and pigmented. I'm stamping it right on top of my eye primer. And then you can see I'm just going to slowly blend this back and forth, back and forth. I really like that these palettes have these mirrors in here and they're really nice and they're not too small. So you can actually use them to apply your makeup, which I appreciate. Right. And then I'm taking the shade Bride right here and I'm just putting it on the inner part of the lid and up and also on the outer part of the lid and out. I really, really like this <laughs> palette. Okay, so now we're going to do something fun, okay? I'm going to take this NYX SFX Matte Paint in the shade Dragon's Eyes. I'm going to put this down on a Unearthly Cosmetics 810 brush. I'm going to keep looking down and then I'm going to set it on top with a shadow because this with my deep set eyes, I have lots of creases. I want to make sure this is not going to crease on me. So I'm going to keep looking down and I'm going to pack on top this beautiful multi-chrome unusual. If you watched my first video on these palettes, it is one of the prettiest multichromes ever. It's this yellow, red, orange, fire, peach type of multichrome that's so beautiful. And I've been wanting to use it with this red base. I haven't done it yet, so I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna dig out a fluffy brush from somewhere so that I can really get this multichrome on. But I'm pressing that shade on, that multichrome on to that eye paint with this What's Up Beauty brush because I don't want to blend. I want it to be chunky. So I'm really trying to pick that up and I'm pressing this right on top of that NYX paint. Yeah, see how beautifully that multi-chrome looks on top of that red base. I mean, it's a beautiful multi-chrome on its own, but I really like putting it on top of that NYX. Okay, I'm going to do a little blending, do this eye, and then we'll do something with the lower lash line, but I kind of like how like bright this is. Okay, I am back and I've got my 209 from BK Beauty. And for the lower lash line, I really want to go in with It's Showtime. I love that. I love that. I am just going to press this onto the lower lash line. 
and then I will go and blend. I would love to know when you do your makeup, I always switch up, switch up my techniques, but I have to say when working with colorful shadows, like, and when I say colorful, I mean something other than brown or gray. I really like to go in and kind of like press the shade on first and then go back and blend. I just love like the impact that pressing the pigment on gives and then blending, but I know some people like to go on immediately and just blend, blend, blend. So I'd love to know what technique do you prefer? There's no right or wrong way, by the way. When I say that, that's not me saying like, I'm doing it the right way and you're doing it the wrong way. And it's not me saying I'm doing it the wrong way. We should, listen, put your makeup on with your fingers, with a kitchen sponge, as long as it's clean, uh, with a teddy bear, I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I'm just curious as I'm sitting here creating my eye look. I always love hearing from y'all. But I, you know, a lot of times with my looks, I like to really like deepen things up. But, and I have some, some shades I could do that with in here. But I'm kind of liking the brighter vibes that we have going on today. So I think we'll keep it nice and light and bright actually so we've also not used very many shades have we one two three four so far so let's just add in a fifth for an inner corner highlight and that'll be that i think it'll be fun to keep this like it doesn't look simple but the shades it's not a lot of shades right so what to do what to do I can't help it. I can't. Do y'all see how much I've loved and used these shades? Like I've been using this. Okay. I've been using this. These are the palettes that I've really enjoyed dipping into. So I'm putting that pop right there. This is a 210 from BK Beauty. And this shade is scared of sheets. Scared of sheets. Ah, I just hit that on accident. Okay. I'm going to do liner. I'm going to do a lash. I'm going to put on some blush highlight lip color and I will be right back to show you this look. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. I love this look. I'm feeling it so much. I decided to like rope in the rest of the makeup to fit this kind of red theme because I'm like so here for it. Look at this multi-chrome on top of that NYX base honestly love if you are feeling like maybe uninspired with the things that you have in your collection or you have like a favorite palette or something but you're like I just I wish I could give it new life pull out your cream bases or if you have like gel liners and pots I have some from melt and lethal that really work good as eye bases too and I really like those NYX paints because they're usually $12 or under and they can really like transform a shadow I just think it's so fun of course you can do this look without that base of course you can I just wanted to have some fun and incorporate it I'm also just really realizing I did not curl my lashes usually with my false lashes I like to uh, like merge them together by curling them after I have the lash on and I forgot and my favorite lash curler for that is my refer lash curler and I actually think actually think that's downstairs. Okay. I'm not walking downstairs to get it. I'll use this tweezer man one real quick. Okay. Sorry. Let me tell you what else I have on though. But since we're talking about lashes, I use black eyeliner and then these D O H a, uh, faux mink Lily lashes. I really like lashes that are super long, but I wanted to go with some that weren't quite as long so that it didn't take away from this eye look today. For blush, I went in with this more red blush in the shade Burst from Unearthly. And then I'm using my low light palette. This palette is back from Unearthly. This is one of my favorites. If you've been here a while, you're like, girl, we know. You talk about it all the time. But I kind of put it away because it was gone for a while. And Unearthly actually took out this shade Laser Beam and swapped it for a different shade. And I know this palette was like 
specifically made for dark skin, but of course anybody can use it. But the bases on these are really beautiful. But today I'm wearing, I think I dipped into this shade right here, Synth Wave. I think that's the one I have on. Usually I just kind of like go and do 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 mix a bunch. Um, and lips, lipstick. <laughs> I'm a little scattered today. The lipstick is Lunar Beauty Aphrodite. I wore that liquid lipstick, but that's the rest of the makeup. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling fun. I'm excited to wear this the rest of the day, but we do have more looks to do. So here's one last look with the so strange, not one last look, one last look at this look that I created with the so strange palette. There, I got it all out. Okay, we are going to play with warms my blood. So <laughs> the first look that I did for y'all, I kept it like pretty warm neutrals. So I want to do color, but I want to play with the cooler tones. So we're going to go in with Lestat and Resurrect, these two shades right here. This palette makes me so happy. I just think about the names and I think about the characters and I think about the movie. Uh, so I'm going to go in with that gray first. This is an A5, I'm making sure there's no creases to my eye primer. And we're going to do like kind of just a two toned crease something pretty simple but i'm just going to buff this on and for me with my deep set eyes i blend my shadows above the crease as well one i want the looks to be intense and impactful but two i want to help kind of open up my eye okay now i've got my little sigma alice in wonderland brush and i'm going into the shade resurrect and I'm going to stamp that on first because I want this cool toned purple pigment to be there. I want it to be how it looks on the pan. I want it on my eye. So I'm just going to press it on out here and I'm going to bring it out as well, out a little further and then I will slowly, slowly start to blend back and forth back and forth like this kind of making like a c shape or a sideways v or a pac-man or whatever you want to call it i'm gonna make that there and then what i'm gonna do okay don't forget when you have a matte white and a matte black and a palette they are perfect not just on their own but as mixing colors so I kind of want to create a custom color to kind of buff along the top. So what I'm going to do is grab this Sigma E40. And what I want to do with this is go boop in the white, boop and resurrect, boop back to the white. It's going to create a custom lighter purple shade. I'm going to tap off any excess. And then I'm just barely going to brush barely touching the skin, blending, blending, blending. Okay, so now we are gonna put down some shimmers or multi-chromes or whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna use uh, my Glimmer Grasp from Unearthly. Uh, a lot of people were asking me like about this. I do really enjoy this. This is vegan. I saw that on the Unearthly site, I want to say, which if that is something that is important to you, I like to let you know, because I know vegan things aren't always easy to find. And then I would compare this, 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 I would compare to the NYX glitter primer. That's what I think it's most like, but the NYX glitter primer is not vegan. So there you go with that. I'm going to put this glimmer grass on the lid. I'm brushing it on with the BK Beauty brush and my tip for using this or the NYX or whatever you're using is a thin layer, a thin layer. If you just put on a ton, you're probably still going to have creasing. So look, I have that so sheared out. You cannot tell that I have it on my lid, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to work with two shades 
and I want to do the purple and the silver and I'm gonna place them like I have them here so we're gonna do um, this sorry I can't read the names because I'm trying to keep my eye down but I do like to let the glimmer grass get tacky but we're gonna do this the silver and then we're also gonna do this shade up here once I get it down I can read to you so I'm gonna take first this shade right here hold on I'm gonna take my what's up beauty brush ah, I'm knocking stuff over and I'm gonna take Admiral's arm arms sorry and I'm going to get that on my brush and I'm going to press that right up front I love that I love a good high reflect high sparkle silver shade so I'm gonna press it on like that first because I want to set that that glimmer grass down and then I'm gonna pick up charms okay this is a Sigma makeup Shayla brush and I'm gonna press that down. This, I believe, is a multi-chrome because it shifts from like purple to red to like a rose gold to like this deep, dark shade. But that's what I'm gonna put on the lid. I'm just gonna press it and then after it sets down, I feel like the glimmer grasp is dry and set. Then I will go back and I will blend. Okay, I've been thinking, what do I want to do for the lower lash line? And I think we'll go with Betrayal. Let's just do it. Let's commit to a purple silver look. Now, I am going to pick that up on my Sigma E57. I'm just going to use the mirror in the palette. This palette has a nice big mirror. I'm here for it. And I'm going to buff Betrayal in such a good name for this shadow such a good name all right just buffing 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 back and forth back and forth like that yeah there we go some nice purple under the lower lash line and then we need the drama we need the drama we need the drama we need the drama <laughs> i'm gonna take this sigma e34 and we're going into forsaken okay i'm picking up forsaken and i'm gonna hint just a touch here okay just a touch just a touch and i'm gonna tap my brush off and i'm going to press this into the outer corner and i'm going to wing it out just a bit and blend it's gonna mix with that shimmer we put down i'm gonna add in just a little more black because this is a very pigmented but very 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 easy to work with black but i want to just press it in like that and make it deep and dark and then of course we will blend 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 some more but I just wanted to show you, I'm going to add some black out there in the inner corner. The inner corner. We have a lot of options for inner corner shades. A matte inner corner would be beautiful, but a matte inner corner would be beautiful. But what do I want to use? I think I want to use Queen. I love that we have Queen and Akasha, the names right next to each other. This is a Sigma Samantha Ravindal brush. So I'm just going to brush the shade queen right there this is a beautiful multi-chrome and i'm gonna do liner lashes and then i will be back and you know i need to do lips and all that stuff but i'll be back and i'll tell you about it all right y'all here is my finished look using the warms my blood palette i love the purples and the grays and the silvers and the multi-chromes together i'm so so here for it i did add some dramatic lashes because i kind of just felt like the look called for it so these are my lily lashes and the style mykonos y'all <laughs> I've worn these lashes probably 20 times now. I know they're very expensive, but 
like best 28 bucks ever spent. I love those lashes. Uh, I actually need to add that to my list to maybe pick up another pair during the Sephora sale. But on the lips, I'm wearing Sephora Rum Raisin Lip Liner with the Unearthly Gloss in Glint. I'm wearing... <laughs> Oh, I, I, I just love this look. I'm wearing uh, the Unearthly Blush in Sha, and I'm wearing the Low Light Highlighter Palette. This is the shade Low Light from the palette. So this is the finished look. My husband actually came in earlier, like to ask me something. I turned around, he was like, whoa. I was like, yee. <laughs> I was like, yes, I was feeling myself, but now you're feeling me too. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm feeling amazing in this look. I love it. I hope that you enjoy it too, but we do have more looks to do. So I just don't want to go. I'm like, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. It's the makeup. Like it's the multi-chrome. I'm here for it. I'm feeling the purple and the gray, but yeah, let's get into the other looks. All right, y'all, for this look, we're going to play with the Chilling Palette. This was one of the palettes from the mystery box that Unearthly did. I love that they put all these exclusive items. I did a whole video on the collection. You can check it out. But I want to create a look with the Chilling Palette pressed pigment palette. This is the all purple palette. Now in my video where I unboxed this, I did like a look just combining all three palettes, but I feel like these quads, it's going to be very easy to create an eye look, right? It's kind of all laid out, a light matte, a mid-tone matte, a dark matte, and a shimmer. So what we're going to do is go in first with Abyss, and then I'll kind of deepen up lower in the crease with Possess, and then we'll deepen up the outer corner and the lower lash line with Morbid, putting Prey all over the lid. So it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, this will probably be a little bit of a quick look, but I want to show you what I'm doing in case you have this quad or maybe you're shopping your stash. It's going to be an easy eye look. Okay, so I have that lighter purple shade. This is a What's Up Beauty brush. Anytime you see the pink and black brushes, those are What's Up Beauty. And I'm just going to lightly fluff this all in the crease, above the crease, just really letting that shadow kind of almost be everywhere. I'm not taking it down super low or super high, but kind of everywhere in between. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade Possess and I'm just going to layer that right on top of that lighter shade, but I'm gonna keep it a lot lower. So you can see I'm really going right here into the socket, maybe a little above. I'm gonna take this shade a little further out, but I'm definitely not taking it up as high as we took that first shade Abyss. So just keeping it right in here, blending back and forth. Okay, so now, again, very simple. I'm just going to take that shade Morbid. I'm going to coat my brush, and I'm going to keep this right out here on the outer corner. I'm going to layer it right on top and just kind of bring it in to give myself some depth right out here. And these shadows layer very well on top of one another. I'm just going to kind of bring it out and then under the lower lash line as well. So I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to pick up that shade Morbid. And this is going right under the lower lash line. So it's all nice, monochromatic and purple. Okay, now I've got the shade Prey, the shimmer. I did pick the shade up on my brush and then I sprayed it with a little bit of setting spray, makeup mist, whatever you have laying around is just fine. And I'm also going to just lightly pop this on the inner corner. Now, that was easy. <laughs> I think this took me uh, less than five minutes. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and mascara and then I'll be right back to show you the finished look. But this is, listen, simple looks can be just as fun 
just as beautiful, just as impactful. So I'm just going to tap this a little bit more to make sure I've got all the sparkles I want, but I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, this is the completed look. I really like the eye look, but I created it so fast. That, I think, is one of the beauties of quads. It's such, like, a small shade selection, and it's just easy to put a look together, but it can also make you, like, be more creative with what you do, you know? So, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> I really like this kind of monochromatic purpley look I have going on. I really love all the shimmer and sparkle in this like shimmery shade. It has so many different reflex like blues and purples. I'm so into that. But I did put on some black eyeliner up top, some Vive half lashes. Um, for the lower waterline, I put on my Kaleidos Multichrome liner in Night of Creation. Yes, Night of Creation. For lips, I'm wearing Juvia's Place Cola Lip Liner. And then I went on with Blend Bunny Dollhouse Liquid Lipstick. And then I just wanted a gloss. I'm wearing Give Gloss in the shade Candy. It's like this lilac-y shade. For blush, I used Unearthly Cosmetics Pop Single Blush. And then I decided to go with the Mystery Box Highlighter Palette as well. This is Gold Light Highlighter Palette from Unearthly Cosmetics, and I went in with the shade Chilling. So that's what's on my cheeks. I am so super into this look. It's going to be a fun day. I have a lot of stuff going on, so I'm excited to wear this makeup all throughout my day. But yeah, and one last look at our Chilling Palette look. Okay, it is super early in the morning for me, but I want to go red. I want to go red. So we are going to use the Thirst palette. This was one of the mystery box palettes. And like I said, I have a whole video swatching this, everything like that. I'm looking at my brushes here. Um, because what I want to do is start with the shade Bloodline, this really pretty deep dark shade. I'm going to pick that up on my A6 brush. These do have a mirror and I'm going to just pat out my eye primer, make sure I don't have any creases and I'm going to create like two lines with shadow that are going to kind of curve. So I'm going to put the first one right in here. And then I'm going to go out here and kind of put a line leaning the same way out here. So I'm just going to press that shadow on first because I really want it to be nice and pigmented. And you can focus on blending here if you want to. But for me, what I want to do is bring in this kind of lighter red shade, uh, the shade Lethal right here. So I'm going to grab that first brush that I used was an A6 from Unearthly, and now this is an Unearthly 87. So I'm going to go into the shade Lethal. Let me tap this off and pick some up. And I'm going to kind of blend with this red. So I'm going to follow right in here. And I'm going to kind of just go back and forth between the brushes, blending. And then I'm even going to take that red shade Lethal and I'm going to blend out some of the edges here. I just really want to use these two different shades because I would say this red has a little more like orange to it, whereas this one does not. So I really want to use both of these shades. And I'm just going to focus on blending. Okay, now what I want to do is go on with the shade Dread. I know this is looking dramatic. And when I tell y'all, for me, it's 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Love this for me. I want to go in with the shade Dread right here. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to be wearing this look for the rest of my day. It's going to be perfect. I'm actually... Uh, just gonna have my nephews today. We're gonna go to the park. We're gonna go get some lunch. I've got some 
uh, homeschool work to do with my kids. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great day. I'm excited to wear this red outlet, but I am going to spray my brush. Let me just see. I'm gonna spray my brush. This is a uh, unearthly eight nine brush, and I want to pack this shade on first. So I'm just really going to press it on and I'm blending it up. So all of this negative space, the shimmer's going. So yes, way above the crease, everything. I just want to really fill this in here and then also press a little right there on the inner corner because what I'm gonna do next is gonna be very, very simple. I'm just going to take the black shade. I'm gonna use it as eyeliner on the lower lash line, the upper lash line. I am going to put black eyeliner in the waterline, mascara, possibly a lash, but that's it. That's gonna be this look. It's gonna be cool. I'm into it. I'm gonna see if I need to blend anymore, but I'll be back to show you the finished completed look. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. A very dramatic look, but very easy very very easy y'all saw how quick i did that and i just used the black as eyeliner and then i put a little black eyeliner in the waterline i threw on a little bit of a half lash i wanted something a little more than my natural lash but not super bold because i wanted just the focus to be on the eyeshadow but for blush i did go in with tangy the single blush from unearthly Along with the Goal Light Highlighting Palette, I wanted to use uh, Thirst, the red highlighter. So that's what you see I have on. And then my lips, I went in with Lunar Beauty Hollows Eve Liquid Lipstick and Celine Lip Gloss. So that's how I completed this look. I'm excited to wear this for the rest of the day. I think it's fun and it's like this red orange monochromatic look I think it's working for me today but we do have another look to do before we go so yeah here is the last look at this using the thirst quad okay it's time to play with the beautiful creepy crawly palette we're gonna start off with squirm we're gonna start with the darkest color and then we're gonna buff it out with scream down here these shades so pretty i'm so excited to be using these again really hope unearthly will bring these back maybe not in the mystery box format but at least maybe they'll bring them back to the site so you can purchase them individually Okay, so once I get that down, I'm going to take this, that first brush that I used for the squirm shade was a unearthly brush. Now I'm taking this Sigma brush from the Enchanted Collection and I'm just going to lightly use that to kind of buff out these edges something very very simple okay now I'm also going to take a mix of squirm and scream that we use on top just as my lower lash line color. I'm just dipping into both because I really, really want a custom color, but I want it to kind of flow with what we have going on up top. So I'm just going to buff it like that. And that was an unearthly brush. This is an unearthly brush. And we're gonna put spun all over the lid i am going to spray my brush and we're just gonna put it all over the lid all over the lid all right so i love those two shades like on the lash line now i'm gonna put this and it's gonna look really cool layered on top of the mats and it's gonna give us some dimension because we're putting it on just on top of primer here and then we're buffing it up on top of the mat here so it's gonna look pretty pretty cool rather than just like whiting out the lid with concealer which of course would be beautiful too if that's what you want to do but i'm just gonna put that on like this this green shade is really pretty 
The shimmers in the mystery box quads were just really pretty. They had a lot of different reflex to them, but we're going to do a matte in our corner. So I'm going to go in with Toxin. This is another unearthly brush. Pop that on the inner corner for a nice like bright neon pop. And then I'm going to do liner, lashes, the rest of my makeup, and I will be back to show you this seventh final look. All right, y'all, here is the finished seventh look. I just added a little bit of eyeliner and mascara, no false lashes today. For the lower waterline, I did use a little bit of my LA Girl eyeliner in the shade Dragon. I am wearing my Sigma Cinderella Lip Duo on my lips. And then for cheeks, I'm wearing Stella, these two shades from Adept and uh, some shades from the Ayana face palette. So this is the look. I would love to know if you liked this video. Are you gonna shop your stash? Do you have these palettes? Did you buy them? Are you waiting for a restock? Did you pre-order them? Are you just here to hang out? Whatever it is, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. It helps me out so much when y'all watch my videos, like my videos, leave me comments, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, family, social media. It honestly means a lot, but thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you very soon in another video. I'm uploading like just about every day. So I'll see you soon. Bye.